Hi, I'm Mike Heidebrink, president of Cheng Concrete, here for Concrete Network. This is our outdoor living series made from Chang DFRC. Let's get to work and see how these things are made. What we have here is the Green Bray Chair Mold. We've already assembled, we've already assembled the project, but uh, I want to go over some of the details before we actually begin casting it. First off, it's upside down. These are the front and back legs. This is the top and this is the seat. We're going to be casting it upside down, uh, starting by spraying into the mold and then the final stage is where we'll actually be laying material up. But the, uh, the details for this mold are available online um, and this entire mold is made out of melamine. Uh, we've got a little bit of bracing and reinforcing happening back here using 2x4s. Uh, this is just for the purpose of holding this, this wall, which is about 28 inches high, vertical and in position when we're placing the material. Aside from that, uh, we don't have any other major reinforcing that goes into this mold. Uh, the DFRC applies to the face and, and, and hangs basically in, in position. Um, this particular mold we're working on, you can see that it's kind of beat up and dirty. That's because this is about the 10th time we've actually used this mold. Um, easy to reuse when we're demolding, these pieces come off and the chair just lifts right out. So we've designed the mold to be able to cast multiple castings in the same mold. Um, let's actually move over here and I want to talk about the material that we're, that we're going to be mixing. This is the Cheng DFRC. Um, this is some of our activator which we've already diluted and we've measured out. Um, here's a bag of the casting blend that we're going to be, that we're going to be casting with. Uh, I've got a mixing bucket here, a bucket of fresh water and my mixer which is actually mounted on a stand here that takes a lot of the the back breaking work out of blending. Uh, and then over here, we're going to be using a spray gun to spray our first coat of uh, the casting blend into the form. So these are all the tools we're going to be working with. Uh, let me get started with the first thing we put into our, into our mixing bucket is one gallon of what we call diluted activator. It's uh, already been pre-diluted with water. For this project, we're going to be using the Dark Base Casting Blend. Um, we are, we're just going to uh, use this straight out of the bag without any pigmenting. If, let's say, I was uh, going to add some color to this, at this point I would actually add the pigment to the activator and blend it in before I added my dry ingredients. All right. This part of the process gets a little dusty, so I'm going to take a minute here and put on a particle mask and then I'll start filling this bucket. All right, I've got my particle mask on and we're going to start by adding half of what's in this bag to my bucket um, and then we'll mix. That looks about right. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add half of what's left in here, not all of it. This is my last edition of uh, the DFRC casting blend. I'm going to dump everything that's left in the bag. And I'm going to scrape the sides.
Okay, now that the dusty part of that is over, I'm going to take my particle mask off, but I want to talk to you about, about the consistency. Um, right now, I've added my 50 pounds of the DFRC casting blend and a gallon of the diluted activator. This is pretty stiff, okay? I want to get it a little wetter before I put it into my sprayer. Reason there is we need it to flow. Uh, I don't want it to be too runny, but I want it to have a good flowable consistency so that it will go through the gun. Each, each 50 pound bag of the DFRC products allow me to add up to 16 ounces of additional water beyond that first one gallon of diluted activator. So for now, I'm gonna probably add about eight ounces of this to my mix, re-blend it, and just check my consistency and see if it'll work. Okay, let's check that again. See how it's a lot more flowable, kind of falls right off of my margin trowel, leaving, I don't know, maybe about an eighth of an inch coating on the margin trowel. That's about the consistency that I want before I uh, go ahead and, and actually put this in my spray gun. I'm going to do one last scrape of the sides and a final blend and then we'll go ahead and put this in the sprayer. Okay, there we go. That's the casting blend mixed up to a consistency to place into my spray gun. I'm gonna pull the sprayer over here. Now, a couple notes at this point. Uh, we wanna move pretty quickly once we've blended it, getting it into the sprayer, and then actually start spraying. We don't wanna lollygag around or take our time. We wanna move pretty quickly or this material is gonna start to set up, making it harder to pass through the gun. The instructional drawings for this Green Bray chair can be found online. I'm Mike Heidebrink with Cheng Concrete. Thanks for watching.